here to show those of you that are annoyed by this upgrade for the latest trinket how to farm it relatively quickly. I was actually shown this by another player earlier, so let me just go up here. Shout out to Gamertag Dark Boss Nepal. Um, did a bell group with him a few minutes ago, and he brought this one to my attention because previously I was just getting random skill nodes while I was in Avernus and then occasionally trying to pop to like Ice Spire Peak or something like that to farm skill nodes. But he uh, showed me this one, and it's much, much faster. And you can control the spawn because the instance is remade every time you go in. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to upgrade this little bad boy right here, the Forger's Box. Mine is only at rank 2. As you can see, I've already got my Balanced Metal Rod, my Battle Worn Metal Rod, and my infused metal rod. The infused metal rod is a random drop from Bell at the end of the fight. The battle worn metal rod is from the insurgencies and thankfully they finally fixed the drop rate for it the other day in a hot fix. So it shouldn't take you too long. I know people that had to do 150 to 200 insurgencies to get that before they fixed it, but they finally fixed it the other day. And then the balanced metal rod, I believe, is the one you just buy from the vendor, uh, if I'm not mistaken. And then there's two others that I need. One of them is from the boxes that the vendor sells for uh, 15 scripts each. And I've just been buying a few of those every day, just hoping it'll drop. Um, and then the other one, and that's the mythic one, if I'm not mistaken. The other one, I believe, is blue. I haven't gotten it yet but it is the one that I need right now. Uh, yeah, broken metal rod. So the broken metal rod is the one I need at the moment, and then the one from the box, the mythic one. But um, at the moment, I'm going for this one and farming these skill nodes. So the quickest way to do it is just to come here to Sharendar. You can signpost here if you've got VIP. And you want to talk to this NPC here and get the... Uh, you won't see it here, but it's the Arcane Reservoir quest. I already currently have it, so that's why you don't see it there. Um, go here into my quests, and I'll show you. So for Sharendar, the Arcane Reservoir is the one you want. You do not want to finish the quest. You just want to go in here, get the four skill nodes, and then signpost out, and then just keep going back in because it recreates the instance each time you go back in, so the skill nodes are all respawned instead of going to random zones around the game and, and hoping that the skill nodes are spawned and hoping someone else isn't there f farming them already, you can just run through here and get it relatively quickly. There's t a total of four in here. I'm just going to run straight to the first one and drag these enemies with me. Alright, so here's the first one by this little group of... Uh, what are these things called? I can't even remember. Red cap, I guess. Alright, so I'm going to have to kill off all these enemies to get out of combat. There we go. Alright, so there's number one. He said, uh, the guy that showed this to me said he got lucky and got it after just like 20 something, 23 nodes or something like that. Um, I have really bad RNG. Here's the second one right around the corner. I have bad RNG in this game, so it's probably going to take me several hours of farming this. Third one is in this next room here, right behind this pillar. And the last one is right up here in this next room. Right behind this pillar here. So that's it. Oh, yes, I got lucky. <laughs> That'll work for me. Oh, so much for my bad RNG. That's awesome. Very glad I got that. So that's it. You just uh, get those four and then don't finish the quest if you don't get your rod. Just signpost out, 
and go back to Sharendar with your signpost. And that's it. And then you can just run back down and go back into the reservoir and just keep farming those skill nodes until you get it. So there you go. You can go back in and run through and get the four skill nodes again, just like I did just there. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade mine and uh, just jump to Avernus real quick to show you the one from the vendor. The vendor one, you have to uh, you have to keep doing the insurgencies every day. Um, to do the quest and upgrade your rank until you get to the where he sells you the mythic box. It won't drop from the other boxes prior to the mythic one. So you have to finish the full quest line, which is several rounds, several times of having to do uh, t collect the energy, dark energy or whatever it's called from the insurgencies. You have to do that. You can only get 20% for day, 20% uh, of it per day so it takes five days to reach 100 percent to finish finish each step of the quest eventually when you do when you finish the final step you'll have the mark of the seneschal and he will begin Greetings selling friend. you these nice little ornate boxes that are mythic and the dented metal rod as you can see there in the middle set the dented metal rod is what i will need from that but now I have everything else I need. I, had, I believe I had already upgraded it once. So now I'm going to go ahead and upgrade it with the other things that I can for the time being until I get my dented metal rod. So now it's a burning forger's box. And I already have the balanced metal rod. Take it to infused. And I have the Battle Warren, take it to Vibrating. And I have the one from Bell, the Infused Metal Rod, and that will take it to the Empowered. And then the final upgrade, I will need to get the Dented Metal Rod from the vendor boxes. So I did Bell today already, so I can go ahead and buy a few of them. I can only afford four today. So Maybe I'll get lucky. So that would be awesome, Fools. but probably not. There's three, and nope, no dented metal rod for me today. But I'll keep farming Bell every day and buy three or four of those each day. You can only farm 54 scripts from him per day, so you can buy basically three one day and four the next day with the leftovers because it's 45 the first day, which will leave you with nine. And then the next day you'll get the 54 plus the nine you have is 63, so you can buy four. So you can buy seven boxes every two days until you get your dented metal rod for that final upgrade. So I've already got the, the empowered, which is nice. I use that critical strike. 2400 power, 1500 crit, 1500 accuracy, combat advantage, crit severity, action points. So that's nice. Um, and then a little bit more of an upgrade once I get it to the Awakened Forger's box. But just going to have to get that Den of Metal Rod. But that's pretty much it. The, most, the main reason for the video was just to show you that farm for the uh, skill nodes, because that one's kind of annoying to do. The Insurgencies, everyone knows how to do that. Farming Bell, when it appears over here on the map, you can see we've got, um, let's see here. So we've got 58 minutes until the Insurgencies sp start spawning. People aren't really doing them that much anymore, so it takes forever to, for Bell to spawn once the Insurgencies are up. And then once Bell spawns, um, so you can farm the Insurgencies for the green one, and then you can farm Bell for the currency you need to buy the box to get the dented metal rod, and also Bell himself drops the uh, mythic one. So that's it. That'll get you your box upgrade, and that's a nice quick farm in that arcane reservoir in Sharendar for the skill nodes to get the one. Thanks for watching, and have a wonderful day.